I got another one. All right, so we got another one. Uh, the Uni Karu 16, multi-fueled. So now I'll be able to cook pizza with wood as well as natural gas once that eventually comes in stock. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Right there. Another welcome to the Uni community. All right, we have this top box, which feels like it's the stone. Maybe, I don't know. Let's find out. Oh yeah. We got one piece for the stone. Looks like the front. And then the larger portion of the stone and this nice Bubble wrap. Nice square stone, so at least it's, I guess, easier to replace now. Okay, get that out of the way. And we've got some packing cardboard. This over here, which is not moving yet. Looks like a manual. Okay, nice little book and manual. Essentials guide. Assembly manual. That is much thicker than the Coda 16. And a three year warranty card. And we have some of this foam. Kind of a good handle to grip. This looks like the back. This looks like for the stack. I'll just pick it right up. There we go. Like it comes with all the it comes with a bunch of parts on the inside. But it's got this convenient place where you put the fuel to grip it so it's a lot easier to move around at least than the other one. We'll get to that in a minute. There's something else in here. Looks like a little metal placard. It says, warning, do not use alcohol, gasoline, or similar liquid to start or reactivate fire. Good to know. And then we have this box right here. That looks like the door to the uni. Yeah, a nice little door that looks like it fits nicely and seals in better than the Pinterest doors for the Coda. That's nice. All right, I'm going to get this cleaned up and uh, start the setup. All right, let's see what's in here. In one box. That one's stuck in there. Pretty good. Two box. More foam. I'm guessing that's the stack because it's way in there. there we go. Nice long box. 
can guess what that is. A couple more things in here. A quick start lighting guide. I'm guessing these are the fuel trays, yeah. That will go in the back of the oven eventually. And then, looks like a plug. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see what's in these boxes. Like something, the battery set with. Oh, this is the temperature sensor that goes in the front. Batteries included, in case you were wondering. And it's three triple A's. And then I'm guessing this is the housing for it. And some hardware. And looks like a mounting bracket. So that's one box. And another box here. This looks to be the lid for the fuel door or the fuel door itself. Yep. Nice little handle, plastic with metal on the outside. And foam. All right, continuing on. All right, continuing on. We've got our long box. I'm guessing this is the smokestack. If I can open it. Yep, there you go. It's got a little door. I don't know if you can see that. But the, to modulate the smoke and airflow. Seems pretty sturdy. All right, where are the legs? Oh, they're already on there, nice. That was probably obvious to everyone but me. There we go. Okay. Grab the manual. It says it should be including a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and a Allen key in here. Let's see. Yep, little tiny screwdriver and their little Allen key. And then all the fasteners, which is kind of nice because it looks like you can tighten them by hand. One has a rubber washer on it. I wonder if that's supposed to go on both. We will find out. Step one, unfold legs. Done. Step two, huh, that seems easy enough. Step two, attach the digital thermometer. I'm gonna actually turn this around real quick. I'm gonna put the batteries in the uni and the thermometer rather. And there are lots of screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws for the thermometer door or for the battery door. Or maybe I'm crazy. Let's see. Taking the little tiny screws off the battery door for the thermometer. Looks like it's pretty well packaged into like this heat safe material as well. Or maybe it is all seven of them. Yikes. All right. I did the trick. Yes, you do need to remove all seven though. That's fun. Get the batteries. Okay. 
See? Butterfingers. I drop everything. Celsius, Fahrenheit. Okay, so the one button just does Fahrenheit and Celsius. <laughs> That's fair. And I'll put the back casing back on. I'm guessing it's that many screws because it's a thick case, I guess, to help insulate the batteries from the heat of the oven. It is nice for Uni to include the hardware and tools. always very annoying when you have to go pull out the toolbox just to unscrew some screws. All right, last screw on the most secure battery door ever. Seven screws in. All right, <clears throat> I'm guessing that was first step. I don't know. Uh, attached to the digital thermometer, okay. Ah, first step, attach the bracket to the front. Okay, we can do that. Where'd I put the bracket? Right here. We have this little bracket with hand screws. Looks like it goes right there like that. Easy enough. I really love thumb screws. There we go. Yeah, so I had the two rubber washers on one of the screws for some reason, but obviously you need one on each so that way it's nice and doesn't rattle in it. It's nice and neat. This feels like a very heavy duty wire. Okay, we're gonna seat this with the two holes. We got this little round nut fastener, whatever. It screws onto the back and you're on. Boom. Celsius. All right, next step wants me to route the cable to a little sensor on the bottom. Oh, right there. Okay. Wants me to route the cable from there up to those two little brackets into this little box. Right there. All right, let's see if you can see this. There you go. Cable right there. Whoop. And then right there. Wrap it back and plug in right there. I mean, I guess that's fine. All right, what's your next step in this? giant book of instructions. All right. It wants me to put in the pizza stones. You can see it's not too cold here. 62 in the winter time. 61. It says to put this stone in first. All the way in the back. Oop. Keep it low. And there we go. All the way in. I am putting the uni label down so it doesn't interfere with the pizza surface. Nice and gentle as can be. Right. It says insert fuel grate completely assembled like this. Looks like the fat side towards the back. Fat by tall, I mean fat, not wide. Okay. And the next step is attach the door, which looks simple enough. So essentially, you gotta 
put it above those door locks, boom. Now it's easy enough. I'm guessing the next step is to screw it in. What do you know? I have these two nice screws. It's slowly but surely going in. It's not even an Allen key, it's like this weird star key. Hex, I guess. Alright, those are both hand tight. Nice. And there you go. Okay, next step is literally put the lid on. And then the stack, where did I put it? Right in front of me. And it looks like you turn to lock. That's it. Has a little lock, let's unlock. Boom. You modulate the air right there, nice. We're almost done, kids. This little back plate thing. So we already have these screws here. If it focuses. Focus, you can do it. So we already have the screws. It looks like you just loosen them up just a little bit. And, oh, upside down. I'm an idiot. Let's loosen up a little bit more. There you go. One side. There's the other side. That's it. And then I guess you just gently tighten it. Doesn't need to be super tight. There we go. Okay, looks like this goes there. Uh, I have two extra screws for whatever reason that I don't think I missed, but I've got them. Well, that's a pretty easy setup compared to the Coda. It says just to make sure that this is fully open and that this is fully slide slid to the right, which is open when you light. So before you light it, open up the vents. Well, that's it. Everything else is just all the multi-language, all the same instructions, just a bunch of different languages. I guess that just shows how popular unis are now. Everyone in the world gets one. It's pretty cool. All right, let's set it up on the uh, stand. I did pick up a couple of other things, just in case. This is the Uni Premium Assorted Oak Pack. For what it's worth, the Uni did not come with any fuels of any kind. It was just the oven. Ooh. It's a lot of wood. That's all it is. It's got these little nicely chopped up wood pieces with bark on it, it looks like. You got these smaller pieces as well. You got some, I'm guessing this is kindling. Yep. Little fire starters. I got extra in case I wanted to use my own wood, but I got some extra fire starters here, making a mess everywhere. And then of course, cause I keep my ovens outside, the little cover for it. And that's it. This comes with a pretty good amount of wood. I 
imagine it's good for a few pizzas. Alright. That's it. Something cool that I just noticed when I was playing around with the oven. I haven't lit it or anything yet. So this has a little hanger on it. If you can see that. And this has a little spot for it to go. So instead of setting it down somewhere, you just hang it right there. That's pretty cool.